Right, Zoe. Hmm? I'll ask you something, right? Yeah. When I was 10, yeah. my brother was half my age. So I was five, yeah. Now I am 75. How old is my brother? 37. <laughs> half your age. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm on a minute now. Wrong. No, I've got to know five or seventy. <laughs> Ray. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. Oh, Nain. Just come for a little run. I have just got a uh, Bruce with me. Oh, so I'm changing my routine uh, when I go running. I do struggle a little bit um, when I've got both dogs. Take Bruce out for a couple of miles, go back. Then I'm gonna go for Bodhi. Oh, this is so much easier having one dog with me. It went all right when I had Millie and Bodhi, because as you know, Millie were no trouble. Bless her. Oh, God. Gave me, don't now mention Millie. Oh, God, I, uh, I do miss that dog. Oh, poor Millie. What have I done now? I've just upset myself. And she, she was no trouble whatsoever. You could take her anywhere. You know, you, 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 know, you, you got her. Whereas Bruce, he's a beautiful dog. But girl, he's an owl. Oh, there's a dog here. Wait a minute, guys. Like, shall I film this? See if Bruce is going to behave or not. Well, let's go. <laughs> Look at him looking. Oh. Look, he's starting over to do that. Come on. Say it. Good boy. A treat. That's a good boy. Look at No. <coughs> oh, <dear. coughs> You're running there. Does make your blood pressure quite low. But uh, we have in Johnny van. He soon brings it back up. <laughs> he doesn't stay low for low. We have in John. <laughs> I'm saying that we are going out tomorrow night, I think, with some friends. So, yeah, but we have been good all week. Because we're still here. We're waiting for this bloody delivery. Let's see, he's been waiting for me. Your turn now, Bodie. <laughs> yeah, nice, your turn! <laughs> he's so good, eh? <laughs> Shh! Get off that stick! You don't need to be on a lead, do you, Bodie? You're really good. Yeah. Going back home. I'll see Daddy. Bless him. Just short of six miles this morning. Nearly 9,000 steps. Yeah, quite pleased with that. That's a lot better. I've been keeping an eye on water and we've run out. Can't believe lot of lambs on and I don't use it because I um, don't want to run pump dry. Oh, I pressed the wrong button, I'll just show you. Um, two minute. Water. Information. We're going to have to use this bloody thing. <laughs> All right, there we go. Look, it's on red. Water tank. Oh dear. And I can't get dogs a drink. God, and after all that exercise, and I need a drink as well. We need to get on move. We made to move quick, John. We've run out of water. Come and get a bit of bed. 
Still in bed. Come on, John. Dogs need a drink. Can't even make you coffee. <laughs> My blood pressure's a bit low. Again. It could soon get back up again though, won't it, we John? <laughs> Don't have to go to doctors for that, do I? <laughs> now we're we John and could go back up. <laughs> Who needs medication? <laughs> yeah, Zoe's gone out and left me tonight. She's gone out on a gaily night around Barnsley with friends while we're here. So she asked me and I says, get yourself off, love. You go and enjoy yourself. Don't you worry about me. I'll be absolutely fine on my own. No, you go off and enjoy yourself, Zoe. You know, I'll, I'll, I'll be all right. So she's bloody gone, ain't she? Bloody hell. So here I am on my own. First time ever on my own in a motor home. It's a bit weird. So I'm just having my tea. I've got pot noodle, original curry. So uh, I'm just having my tea and I've made myself a cup of coffee and then I'm going to have a shower because I've just filled up with water and uh, get ready and I uh, suppose I'll have to rough it tonight by going out with my mates, you know, told her not to worry about me, I'll be absolutely fine, she's no need to worry, bless her. Oh, bit surreal, bit strange not being here with her Zoe. So I think she's filming something tonight. I don't know what she's taking camera anyway. So, uh, so I don't know. So this is a bit different, isn't it, guys? Back home, I've just got ready. I'm having a night in town, in Barnsley Town, with my friends tonight. And I've uh, left John uh, going out with his friend. So this will be a bit strange. And I'm, I'm staying in the house tonight. <laughs> yeah, it feels a bit weird being back here. A long time since I've done this, but um, looking forward to seeing some friends of mine. This should be good. Love Barnsley, though. Yeah, I love atmosphere. So uh, I will film Barnsley when I get out. I'm just waiting for my taxi. <laughs> yeah, I've got a Bruce here with me, and um, my son will be looking after him. We'll have a night out on town. I'll try and not get too drunk. <laughs> Oh. oh, I've just had a red hot shower. Oh, that was so nice, that. Oh, it's so nice to have a hot shower. It's great, this van, because it only takes five, ten minutes to heat the water up, and you can change the temperature of the water. So I always have it red hot, because I just love a red hot shower. You know, it just really relaxes your muscles, and oh, it's just so, so nice. So nice to have a shower. Still can't get my head around the fact that you can just have a shower anyway. I mean, at that moment I'm parked outside at road, and I've had a shower in Morrison's car parks, and you name it, I've had a shower all over the UK. I've had a shower <laughs> wherever we've been parked, and that still does me head in a little bit. Blows my mind because, like, you can have a shower, you can go to the toilet, no matter where you're parked up. So there might be somebody doing the shopping next year, and you're in shower or on low, and it's it's bizarre, isn't it? That. But yeah, I love a shower. Um, people say how do we go on with shower our shower is just as powerful as uh, your shower at home guys you know what I mean it's exactly the same it might be a, a, probably a little bit narrower I would say it's quite long but it's, it's quite narrow I can fit it in all right and I'm quite big so it can't be that bad can it so uh, yeah it's just, just like a normal shower um, love it love 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 that so yeah, even people even still ask us even now, how can you live in a van through winter? And I'm like, oh well, it's a it is a, a real struggle. Well, you must be frozen. Well, you know, it's a it's a real struggle. Honestly, with, with central heating, Aldi wet central heating system we've got, and red hot water we've got to have a shower. It's uh, it is a it's uh, really difficult. <laughs> and I know it's me. Okay, okay, me saying this because we do have a a, a luxury van, don't we? And we have all these mod cons on this van. But when you are living in a van full time, it makes you feel more human, shall we say. Having having these extras. Not extras, but do you know what I mean? Having the hot water and, and everything. Um, it just makes, not only cleaner, so from smelling, obviously. It just makes you, you know what I mean? It makes life livable, shall we say. As you're travelling around wherever, wherever you're going. 
So yeah, so um, I'm having a right good time so far. Uh, Zoe, bless her, she's only she's only rung me three times and texted me at least ten times, asking if I'm okay, keeping an eye on me, and this will go on all day and all night. She'll be texting me all night and guarantee it. So um, <laughs> it's not pretty often we're apart. To be fair, and she's finding it really really strange. She says me not being there. So, and it is for me as well, you know, it does work both ways. It is really strange, because you just get used to being with somebody all the time, don't you? And then suddenly they're not here, it's like, well, this is a, yeah, it's a different. She's had a hot bath. <laughs> she hasn't had a bath in a don't know how long. She says, I've just had a really hot bath. It's something she's wanted to do for a long time. And she says, but she couldn't stand it for long, because water was too hot, so she had to get out. <laughs> So anyway, she's looking forward to her night out. So that's all that matters, isn't it? So I hope she has a really, really good night. This is Emma. So you have to say your names. Okay. Emma, Tracy, Carla, and Jake. We are going to be on Bertie Bus later. Bertie Hello. Bus. Oh, no. Alan Dexter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at you! You look brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get too close to guys. Oh, <laughs> this is all my lovely that. friends. I'm going out and look at Emma right hard. I got <laughs> <laughs> She's not well <laughs> Just getting ready to go in town, aren't we, Emma? Look we at are. you, we are. Hey! Is it raining then? I need to get the clean tube on. I know waiting to town with this lot. <laughs> it should be a messy night. <laughs> That's scary. Freaking me out, that is. <laughs> oh, look at Barnsley now, all the time. It looks lovely and dark. Am I just going in here? Yeah, that's fine, no worries. Salt house. So I'm just off to Lowwoods Club which is basically on the road that I'm parked on. So I've got uh, Bodie with me and uh, gonna meet friends. I think there's football on tonight. Bertie's parked down there. You can see him. And down here is Lowwoods Club. So uh, a bit different. Been here before. An adventure, isn't it, buddy? Yeah. Here we are. Power of angels! So we left Lowwoods and we're just going out to Miller now because Sheffield Wednesday have won 2 1. I had a brilliant night last night, not too long over this morning. I'm just waiting for uh, John to wake up and pick me up and I'm back to normal. <laughs> yeah, not too long hung over this morning. Come on, John. Waiting for him to get up. <laughs> I'm 
ready to go back now. I really enjoyed it, but uh, yeah, ready to get back to normal. <laughs> This is my son's dog, <laughs> Little Bunny. Hello. John's just taking the satellite dish off. <laughs> you are right up there, John? Yeah. <laughs> Have you? There's two e-bikes there. I am missing them. I ain't been on it for ages. Uh, yeah, I can't wait to get my bike out. Look at all bags of dog food. It's a bit of a mess at minute as garage. John will sort it. All the dog food, that's what we use. And I uh, cook mince and I mix uh, mince in with it as well. So they're quite well fed. Aren't you, Brucey? My beautiful boy. You're doing buddy. You just want to play all day long, don't you? Yeah, play all day. Never stop, dear, my beautiful boy. You're going to say hello. He's a buddy boy. <laughs> it seems weird looking at you there. Eh? <laughs> it's a good job you don't have to go through full skylight, isn't it? Because I don't think you'd fit. Do you know? The, the abuse I get. <laughs> that camera here. I'm sure what show people what I've done. <laughs> Look at that. Straight up on the roof. Here we are. And I've taken it off. Look. Let's play it. I'll leave that plate on. Because it's sealed on and I don't want to leave holes in my roof. Yeah, but the satellite dish is gone. So my next job is to take the ladders off the back. Look how mucky my roof is. I've just cleaned skylights and I've just started cleaning it. On front there, look at difference. I've just cleaned that up to that. Bloody hell. It's just a hard job. I've also replaced this flash band here. Uh, there was some flash band on there originally and it's all kind of deteriorating so I thought well while I'm in B&Q I'll get some more flash band and I'll just uh, put another strip over the top of it just to be on safe side so I've done that but all this roof needs cleaning oh wow my shadow there look yeah that's going to be a job and a half isn't it and that's tavern in oh should have said the tavern where we're staying. Absolutely lovely people here, guys. So friendly with us. Always let us come and stay here. Side at lorries. And we always pull uh, fencing across. It's a bit more secure. It's floodlit at night. As long as we use pub, which obviously we don't mind doing, they do lovely food. And ladies just come out and said to us, oh, there's a water tap on side if you want to use that. Oh, so nice. Such nice people here. So friendly they are. I don't like leaving this plate left though, where it's sort of like this used to be, with bolts stuck up like that. I'm going to have to come back to that. I don't want to take plate off because it screws through plate into the roof. So I don't want any leaks and it's silicon sealed all the way around the edge as well. So common sense is telling me just leave that for now, come back to that, either grind bolts off or uh, I don't know, take it off and seal holes up in the roof. I just don't like that idea of having rut holes there. So uh, we'll leave that for the time being, I think. Just gonna take these ladders off now. I've taken bolts out at top and I've taken two screws out at bottom with the silicon down. So I'm just gonna cut out silicon around these feet here and that should come off. And then I'll have two holes here, won't I? So I'll have to seal that up as well. It's just for security guys, especially going abroad. You don't want somebody scrambling up that deer to get onto the roof at a van to get through skylights. Once that's off, 
you know it's pretty impossible to get on roof of van there's nowhere else you know because it's quite high you're just not going to get on roof are you so i think just for security reasons and then i'm just going to buy myself lightweight two section ladders that i'll just keep in garage out of way locked up more secure uh i don't want any immigrants on my roof do i coming back through calais so scrambling onto my roof so uh yeah just peace of mind really this more than weight taking weight off right i've taken ladders off good about time i've got extractor fans still to clean yeah i know it's absolutely disgusting that and i still need to do some of that edge at start down there yeah that's another job so i've got loads of jobs to do and roof needs cleaning Really? It's disgusting, I've but just I can't, been up there. I can't get roof now though, because I've taken ladders up. So we need to go to BQ and I need to buy them two section mm. ladders because I'm thinking the short ones no. I can white skylight or you can put them up here and you can get I can get onto no, the John. roof. We've got steps. We've got no ladders. The steps we, aren't long enough. We've got ladders in my shed. They're too long. Well, why didn't you buy smaller ones to start off with? I didn't know they're too heavy, they're too bloody long. So I just need them two section no. ones. Because you can white, I can white, and I can go out roof. Use them steps and I'll push you up. I can't, oh. get, I can't get, how am I going to get back through? Jump. They're not high enough. I'll take steps off and we'll buy them two section no. ladders. No. And just have them in garage. And then no. I can get out roof. I can tell you you're a builder. They have all different type of bloody ladder going don't you? I like my ladders, they're just not the quite right size I've got. There's some ma something else what will end up in my shed. What well, steps will because I'll have my ladders and they and they and they can also go into step ladders as well because they'll bend in half but they're long enough to go through that skylight from inside and I'm yeah. up and out roof and I can... I've got a better idea, you know them bloody ladders you bought in the first place? Go on yours then. Go they're and do the jobs. They're too heavy and they're too long. Then drop them back off when you've done with them. That means we've got to stay here longer then. Well, I'd rather do that. I can do these jobs while we're abroad. If I've got my ladders, I'm fine. You mean like polishing van? Yeah. Like what happened six months ago, you still ain't used that bloody polishing. I machine. used that polishing when we were up Scotland. Yeah, and you still ain't map. You still ain't go. got them marks at back at band with I'm that. I'm getting round to it. I'm getting round to it. God's sake. I've still got yeah, the polish. I've still got the polisher on the van, so I can still do these jobs. Or we can spare. start now. We've still got another two hours left to daylight. No, wait, Bob. Oh. But. I've still got a polishing machine, but I do need them two section ladders. No, and I also need a sticker. Not having no more ladders. Because there's, there's holes, you know what ladders? Yeah. But it, there's, there's holes. There's four holes now. So I'm thinking I might get a sticker. I, I might get, I'll tell you what I'll get, I'll cover it. Them stickers that say, long vehicle. I'll stick it up back. It'll cover it also. Until and then I need to get a reflector from where I, I put an hole through when I reverse into that side. Okay, I'm not thinking about getting a little yeah. reflectors. I should so, uh, go and get some some more stickers as well as them from when you're back into some more stuff abroad. Listen, <laughs> thinking uh, it's going to look great. I can clean back at van up now because uh, ladders are off. Mm, good, but we don't need any more ladders. We do. I'm not going to get on the roof at van. I, I need a new pair of air straighteners, the ones what just kill me air a little bit more. Well, I'll tell um, you what, don't bother using them, just get up in the morning and it's curly anyway. What difference does it bloody make? You know, there you go. You don't need to have curly air. I'm making a point. You can go on and on and on and buying stuff. You know, make you want... use of what you've got. I have to with you. I still need some letters. Still need ladders to get on the roof. Can't you put some on here? Put put ladders across here or something. No, it's too dangerous. No, I've been doing more bloody ladders. I think we're in another way. I put my foot down now. No ladders, John. That's all right. If you're a through. bit fitter, you know, if you've got strong arms, you'd be able to push yourself up with your arms. Oh, uh, and then when I'm on roof at van, and then you shift step ladders. And leave me up there, then bugger off out with dogs. I know what'll happen. And you'll just leave me up there, won't you? I like putting ideas into my head. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's a great idea, that is. <laughs> that bloody trolley what we got for dogs, you know, that to put stuff in at festivals. That were eighty pound. We've used it once. Twice we've used oh, it actually. Twice, and that's in my shed. It's not my fault we don't do festivals anymore. You're not bothered. <laughs> so we don't get used, is it? The, we've got that kayak. That were a lot that were five hundred. That kayak quid. it's not my fault you can't swim. We used that twice. We bought uh, life vests. And everything That's because you can't swim in case you fell in. Always thinking safety means, right? Eh? The stuff, the awning that we sold, that massive awning. And what are you going to do with Nobed when we go in kayak? Because he ain't going in kayak, not like Millie. Millie went to eat kayak, but he ate, well, bloody hell. Can oh you imagine my him? God, no. <laughs> Especially if he saw another dog. <laughs> imagine he's seen another dog and we're eating kayak in middle yeah. of the river. <laughs> and he just launches himself off kayak. <laughs> No, I wouldn't trust him on kayak. No way. He'd bite it. <laughs> he could, because imagine him biting it and the whole air going out and it's sinking. Yeah. <laughs> no, he's not going on kayak. He's heavy as well, so that's not on bad at the moment. But we've still got it in case we do want just to Just in case. It. Yes. Mm. I need to go shopping for some clothes just in case. It's all this stuff what you get just in case. Well, mine's all practical. Yours is luxury. There's a difference. It's practical, yeah, but you never use it. It's not but so it, we've bad got if it. he's gonna. No, John, it's just some more stuff. I need ladders. No. I'm getting some. No way. I'm getting some ladders. Don't need any. We do. We've got a busy day tomorrow because I've got some ladders to buy. And we've got being a parcel to pick up. As... No, you're not buying the bloody ladders. No, you're not. I am. No. I am. No, you're not. Yeah, I am. See what tomorrow brings, eh? You and your bloody ladders. Listen, it's life. It's well, just... you're not putting steps in my shed because there's enough stuff in there. Get a bigger shed. Solve problem. No, just don't buy any more ladders. Get a bigger shed. There's be a lot more, I'm sure, no, in next year. No, you buy even more crap. <laughs> Please like and subscribe. If you haven't already, I, why come I'm saying that? You're not saying that anymore. Because anyway. like, you're still not buying any ladders tomorrow. Oh, God. <laughs> come on, say bye bye, Zoe. Hey, so what do you can get? <laughs> say bye bye, Zoe. Sure to see John uh, buy some ladders. <laughs> <laughs> Will I get some ladders or won't I? That's the big question. <laughs> bye. bye.